Well, it must be understood that in asking for parity, we also indicate our willingness to accept reasonable controls. So naturally, the uh, production will be less on that account. But there's a strange and uh, lack of understanding, I think, throughout the country concerning surpluses. You, you think it was a disease or something. Something is dangerous. As a matter of fact, uh, a surplus is a wonderful thing. A well-fed nation, nation is a strong nation. And uh, all we need is the genius and the leadership in government to work out some uh, sensible plan of taking care of the surplus and not making the farmer suffer for it. It might require subsidy paid to the farmer and then try to make trade treaties to get rid of part of the surplus. In countries like, well, anywhere in Asia where the people, the standard of living is so low, many families never do have enough to eat. And we wouldn't expect uh, to uh, money be made on it. We do expect the government to take up the slack so that the farmer shan't suffer simply because he's doing his job and we're having a surplus. Surplus don't need to scare people. All we need, as I said before, is make trade treaties. Get into countries where the children are starving. There'll be a loss. We have to take some goods from them if we trade with them. But the government should take care of that because all the other industries have millions and millions of dollars paid them every year in subsidies.
I want it clearly understood that the purpose of this committee is not to necessarily discover new taxes, but to seek ways and means to properly equalize and distribute the present tax load. In the aggregate, we do not want any more taxes. In fact, it is a sincere desire of the committee that it will be able to recommend legislation which will abolish some or a portion of the existing taxes. In the same breath, I hasten to say that if new taxes appear, which will replace and more equitably distribute the tax load, your committee will not hesitate to recommend such changes. I am going to close my remarks at the risk of repeating. The Iowa Taxation Study Committee wants no more taxes in the aggregate. They want to equalize the present tax load. They want to see more efficiency in state government. In other words, colloquially speaking, but rhetorically wrong, this committee wants to see the citizens of Iowa get more out of what they've already got. I thank you. some people who are predicting recession or depression and some people are fearful that we might talk ourselves into a depression but I think this is not necessarily true and not likely to be true be sure the super boom is over the inflationary pressures are off but from here on we ought to be able to continue to expand our productive capacity and to pour out goods in larger and larger volumes especially with defense uh, spending declining and uh, there are tax cuts coming for the individual and for corporations, and that will certainly give a fillip to the economy. Last July, in my prediction, I foresaw readjustment. I was uneasy at that time because certain administration leaders were acting like government executives would act if they were trying to bring about deliberate deflation. That readjustment in business is now taking place. I agree heartily with Senator Douglas. He has pointed out that automobile production is down, that mail order sales are down, that car loadings are down, and that steel production is down. This is a readjustment, that is, unless I've lost my capacity to read economic statistics. and how they affect the lives of you and your neighbors. What can we do about this matter of public support of crime? What can we do about this matter of public support of crime? The only sensible solution to preventing, to stopping crime in the long run is prevention. This in, should include a program of education, uh, not just in the schools, but in the home, in the churches, and in the business, in every aspect of neighborhood and in community life, to build up stronger attitudes unfavorable to committing crimes. And if this means a de-emphasis on economic gain and on acquiring material possessions, then that will have to come too.
1953 registered progress in human relations. More fathers and mothers taught their children that the children can be happier, at peace with themselves, and more successful in life as they learn to live together with people of different religions, varying races, and different nationalities. But much remains to be done in 1954. Here are a few suggestions for the time in history when all the peoples, differing as they are, must live together at peace in a giant world community. Reduce the fears between Catholics and Protestants. Both must cooperate because we face a common danger. Crack down on anti-Semitism in every form. Anti-Semitism is an attack on the vitals of Christianity, too. Give a fair break to Negroes and to people of Asian stock in the USA. Good housing, full employment for these and all peoples is our best answer to communism. Cultivate the moral and spiritual resources. No nation that kept its faith in God ever went down. Midwest Farm Conference uh, hopes to develop a program which will bring about immediate relief to uh, the farmers of the Midwest. Too many of our people, or rather too many of the farmers of the Midwest, can't understand why that with peace, uh, our economy uh, on the farm is going down. Everything the farmers have to sell is at low price, while what they have to purchase is going up. And uh, that is our chief problem tomorrow and the thing that we'll be discussing, the people here from throughout the Midwest, many farmers from Iowa who have suggestions. We hope to put all of those together and come out of the meeting with a, a definite program which will uh, afford our people of Iowa and the Midwest, particularly the farmers, uh, immediate relief and not put it off until the next section, session of Congress. We feel that uh, under the present Agricultural Act, the administration can develop a program now which will give them immediate relief.